as we have uh, you know that uh, i have started a a series named just ncrt and in which in which we are dis uh, we are just dis discuss about ncrt and thoroughly discuss about ncrt line by line so i have introduced already introduced this chapter to you that digestion and absorption and already know about its basics not not call that basics but a introduction um, about how this chapter is uh, is organized or planned to uh, to get this studied or or so we should start this chapter so food digestion and absorption is majorly about the how our food get digested how important is to eat food in your in your life and how the how the digestion of food occurs in your body and and that food and and that absorptions how absorption take place that is also a um, also a major issue or may or major thing to learn or or in which uh, how uh, and and know the system in which digestion occurs and a brief concept of disorders in digest in digestive system so let's start this chapter and um, and read thoroughly uh, read thoroughly ncert so first thing is food is one of the uh, one of the basic requirement of all living organisms basic requirement hai uh, food isi wajah se kyunki energy milta hai aur aur aap energy energy milega jiske karan aap work perform kar sakte ho so how can you perform work from energy you require energy for to perform work any type of work you require energy so how can you get energy from food from metabolism uh from uh, metabolize uh, metabolizing food and digesting digesting food and without digesting food you can't get energy like a uh, like a vehicle like a vehicle metabolizes a petrol petrol to get energy to perform work that's um, that's uh, like that our our body also requires energy to perform work so food is the basic requirement of all living organism to perform work that is the basic requirement to perform work work is also not just uh, not not just um, not just walking or doing something is is work work is also your you maintaining your heartbeat is also a work for your body so maintaining your heartbeat requires energy and and resp and maintaining respiration is also requires energy so let let us let us continue the major component of our food are carbohydrates protein and fats vitamins and minerals are also required for or some in small amounts so the major components of our food are carbohydrates protein and fats this gives us energy these components carbohydrates proteins and fats gives us energy energy in calories vitamins and minerals are also re required in small amounts and in our food we also have a roughage as amount of roughage also a, uh, a major component in our food that um, that's why we have six component carbohydrate protein fats vitamins and minerals and also is uh, on our water is also a uh, a food that we consume so majorly it is six 
roughages roughages is also called fibers also called fibers food uh, food provides energy and organic materials for growth and repair of the tissues uh, i prevail, i have previ previously told you that food provides energy and organic material for growth and repair of tissue organic material for growth growth also growth requires energy or food repair of tissue also required a wa the water we take in play in a uh, water we take in play play an important role in metabolic process and also prevents dehydration of the body bio macromolecules in food cannot be utilized by our body in their original form bio macromolecules bio macromolecules in food that is cannot be utilized by our body when that is bio macromolecules are carbohydrate proteins and fats they are cannot yeah this in these things cannot be utilized in our body uh, these these things and now we cannot metabolize or use this in original form we have to uh, we have to disintegrate these things uh, these bio bio macromolecules disintegrate that means we have to metabolize or or, or tear apart or, or make it a small um, a small a small molecules to get absorbed and to get absorbed and change its form to get energy the that is we can uh, we have a process of we cannot uh, we cannot uh, take energy directly directly from uh, from carbohydrates we have to disintegrate into a uh, disintegrate carbohydrates into a sugar or you can call, you can precisely call glucose that from glucose we uh, we dis we can take energy in the form of a adenosine triphosphate atp you know this in basic classes and they have to be broken down converted into simple substances in digestive in the digestive system i have said this process of conversion of a complex food substance in a to simple absorbable form is called digestion what is digestion the digestion is the process of a conversion of the conversion of complex food substances to simple absorbable form is called digestion and is carried out by digestive system by mechanical or biochemical methods mechanical mechanical and bio, biochemical methods are mechanical method is, is chewing and biochemical methods are 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 pouring enzymes pouring enzymes in our stomach and large in, and small intestine are the biochemical methods or in in chewing process also uh, also we give a biochemical method that is called we give saliva to to, to disintegrate food disintegrate is also kind of, uh, making making it a smaller uh, smaller substance to uh, to get absorbed so we if, if we take a glucose we can absorb it directly from our mouth mucose mu, uh, mucosal membranes from uh, in our mouth we can directly absorb sublingual uh, absorption is uh, is the fastest uh, fastest form of absorption if you to take energy instant instantly digestive system the human digestive system consists of the elementary canal and the associated glands uh, we will study about a human digestive system human digestive systems and it is a consist of elementary canal and associated glands what is elementary canal elementary canal is started from our mouth and goes down to uh, rectum and anus associated uh. and and there are associated glands associated glands are pancreatic gland and liver are associated glands and salivary glands these are the associated glands major glands in the work that works in digestion Ele in element so digestive system are elementary canal divided elementary canal glands 
uh, in this uh, that's my uh, digestive glands that's the division ncrt provides elementary canal the elementary canal begins with an anterior opening the mouth and it's open out posteriorly through the anus and the yeah, elementary canal begins begins from where a mouth and post and opens posteriorly and goes down through the anus the mouth leads to the buccal cavity or oral cavity mouth leads to buccal cavity or oral cavity oral cavity mouth is the opening in our lips it's it's called the uh, opening we have lips that we open and and where the tongues uh, uh, tongues lie are are the buccal cavity or oral cavity we open that lips and and that forms a oral cavity the oral cavity has a number of teeth and a muscular tongue oral cavity or buccal cavity has a number of teeth and a muscular tongue that is our oral cavity each tooth is embedded in a socket of a jaw bone tooth are embedded in a jaw bone socket of jaw bone we have a figure in 16.2 that is here this is socket of jaws jaws teeth teeth are incisors canine premolars and molars molars are three molars are this uh, this uh, this is molar premolar in canine and incisor incisor are the, are the two frontal teeth frontal teeth and there, uh, there is a canine uh, pointed teeth are called canine pointed pointed teeth and and after after canine there is a two premolars premolars that are broad uh, broad bases are called premolars and molars are, are broader broader more broader than pre, premolars are molars uh, that is used for chewing chewing your food and tearing your food is used uh, tearing your food is uh, canine are used for the tearing of the of your food and it is an incisor incisor for cutting cutting previously we we initially cut our food from the incisors uh, from now the, uh, this type of attachment is called thicodont thicodont this type of att attachment is called thicodont the attachment of a, of a teeth in socket of uh, socket of a jaw is called thicodont this type of attachment is thicodont what are thicodont 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 what is thicodont thicodont don't is the attachment of a tooth in a socket of jaw is called is the, in this type of attachment attachment of a teeth is called thicodont majority of mammals including human being majority of mammals including human being forms two sets of teeth during their life majority of mammals including uh, human being forms two sets of teeth during their life a set of temporary teeth or set of temporary teeth or deciduous teeth replaced by uh, replaced by set of a permanent or adult teeth temporary teeth or milk teeth milk teeth uh, you you uh, you know common um, you know that commonly we call it milk teeth or milk teeth uh, that are temporary teeth uh, temporary teeth uh, which is replaced by a new set of a permanent teeth uh, when approx the year of eight year or seven or six to eight year uh, we the the temporary teeth falls down falls down from your mouth and, and a new permanent teeth 
परमानेंट इज जे परमानेंट परमानेंट रिप्ले ग्रोज इन योर ग्रोज इन योर माउथ डिसडियस मिल्क टीथ और टेम्प्ररी टीथ टेम्प्ररी टेम्प्ररी मिल्क टीथ टेम्प्ररी मिल्क और डिसडियस टीथ रिप्लेस बाई परमानेंट और एडल्ट टीथ एडल्ट नेम्स यू शुड रिमेंबर द नेम परमानेंट और एडल्ट टीथ टेम्प्ररी मिल्क और डिसडियस टीथ दिस टाइप ऑफ डेंटेशन इज कॉल्ड डाई फायोडोंट डाई फायोडोंट वाई दिस इज कॉल्ड डाई फायोडोंट बिकॉज ये इट इज टू सेट्स ऑफ थीथ डाई फायोडोंट टू सेट्स ऑफ थीथ वन इज वन वेन यू आर अ चाइल्ड और वन टू टू ईयर दिस विल गिव्स यू अ टेम्प्ररी थीथ एंड देन then at then your temporary teeth goes uh, goes or fall down from your mouth and and then and then a new permanent set of a teeth grows in your mouth that is why we call this this type of dentition is called diphyodont diphyodont and thicodont what is the different uh, difference between a diphyodont and thicodont thicodont is a type of dentition dentition that means we have two sets of teeth ठीक है ना दैट इज कॉल्ड डायफाइडेंट टू सेट्स ऑफ टू सेट्स ऑफ इज इज कॉल्ड दैट इज वाई वी कॉल्ड डायफाइडेंट एंड थीकोडोंट इन थीकोडोंट वी हैव द सॉकेट ऑफ द द द इम्बेडिशन ऑफ ऑफ थीथ इन 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 आवर सॉकेट ऑफ जॉज इज कॉल्ड थीकोडोंट एंड एडल्ट ह्यूमन हैज थर्टी टू परमानेंट टीथ थर्टी टू परमानेंट विच आर फोर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ हेटेरोडोंट डेंटिशन वॉट इज हेटेरोडोंट हेटेरोडोंट डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ टीथ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ टीथ दैट आर इन सीजर्स केनाइन प्री मोलास एंड मोलास दैट इज हेटेरोडोंट डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ डेंटिशन डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ टीथ नेमली इन सीजर्स केनाइन प्री मोलार्स मोलार्स so arrangement of teeth in each one of the upper lower jaws in the in order i c p m m that means first and then first is incisor canine premolar and molar is the representation of dental formula which in human is 2123 52123 we have a similar representation that is from uh, upper half uh, that you know you should you know about that symmetry symmetry in earlier chapter that uh, that half our body half our body are similar to other half of the body so 2 1 2 3 is the formula in which a half uh, half of half of your lower half of your upper 2 1 2 3 they Two, two incisor, one canine, two premolar, and three molars. The hard chewing surface of the teeth made up of enamel. The first covering or our outer covering of our teeth is is made up of enamel. Help in mastication, mastication of food. Mastication is all uh, is chewing of your food. Mastication a uh, um, a physical uh, a physical. Uh, a disintegra uh, physical disintegration of your food is called mastication of your food and the tongue is the freely movable muscular organ tongue what is tongue tongue is the freely movable you can move freely when you are eating food you uh, you for your uh, tongue is used for the cleaning of your teeth and 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 properly mixing of your saliva in your food to form a bolus so we will we'll learn this the tap the tongue is a freely movable muscular organ attached to a floor of the oral cavity by the frenulum what is frenulum 
frenulum uh, is i have a diagram a frenulum is a um, a flap of skin which is beneath our tongue beneath our tongue the tongue is attached when uh, uh, when you touch your tongue to your upper palate upper palate that means uh, uh, upside of your mouth you, when you touch your tongue then uh, a flap of skin a flap of muscle skin not not skin sorry uh, a flap of muscle uh, longitudinally longitudinally attaches from your uh, from your tongue to your lower palate that is called the frenulum frenulum in your tongue the upper surface of your tongue has a small projection called papilla the surface of your tongue has papilla papilla some of which bear taste buds not all of them have taste buds some of them are have taste taste bud the oral cavity leads into a a short pharynx which serves as a common passage for food and air the oral cavity leads into a leads into a short pharynx which serves as a common passage for food and air the oesophagus the eso esophagus or oesophagus you can say both of both of them are correct pronunciation and the and the trachea windpipe open into the pharynx open into the pharynx the cartilaginous flap a cartilaginous flap called epiglottis epiglottis are beneath your uh, be not beneath or uh, under inside of your mouth and inside of your mouth and and in the uh, and the and where the tongue ends uh, tongue your tongue ends a uh, a muscular flap a flap or a uh, or a uh, or a circu uh, type of a circular muscle which helps in, which helps in preventing the food entry in, uh, into into entry into the windpipe or pharynx the help is called epiglottis the use of when you are swallowing your food when you are swallowing your food the glottis uh, the glottis epiglottis there is a glottis and epiglottis above the glottis above the glottis epiglottis that is called epiglottis a flap of a muscular flap or cartilaginous a muscular flap cartilaginous flap called the epiglottis epiglottis prevents your food from entry into the glottis or food pipe or windpipe opening of the windpipe during the swallowing thing esophagus is a is a thin long tube esophagus thin long tube which extends posteriorly passing through the neck thorax and diaphragm and diaphragm and leads to a j shaped j shaped bag like structures called stomach so let me explain esophagus is nothing just a just a tube a muscular tube which has a cartilaginous ends uh, a muscular tube uh, esophagus is not cartilaginous tube it, it is a muscular tube thin long tube which extends posteriorly from the from your when our uh, when your buccal cavity or your or oral cavity ends then the then the esophagus then the esophagus starts and ex and extend posteriorly extend extended to the extended to go uh, goes down to your stomach this is a structure called the stomach a muscular sphincter gastroesophageal regulates the opening of the esophagus into the stomach and then we have a sphincter 
and at the end of your esophagus we have an sphincter named gastroesophageal sphincter so gastroesophageal so so as uh, as here is the diagram so here is the also esophagus so at the end of your esophagus the here here you can say that gastroesophageal sphincter locates this in this will regulate your food or bolus bolus what is bolus Bo bolus is the uh, is the chewed chewed food after mastication and after mixing of your salivary saliva we uh, you will know uh, what is saliva in uh, in the division in the division of your another division called digestive glands where you can know the secretion of your saliva so the bolus the secreted the bolus masticated food the masticated food uh, is regulated to goes how it goes in your oh, uh, goes in your stomach is regulated by the gastroesophageal sphincter the muscular sphincter uh, regulates the opening of the esophagus into the stomach the stomach the stomach located in in the upper left portion of the abdominal uh, abdominal cavity has uh, three major parts a cardiac portion into which the esophagus open here here, here this is the cardiac part here this is the cardiac part this is the cardiac part portions esophagus open and a fundus region and a pyloric portion which opens into the first portion of the small intestine here is the fundus region fundus uh, fundus is like that and this is the pyloric region pyloric region is the lower region in which a small intestine uh, which connects small intestine stomach to small intestine the small intestine is a distinguishable so uh, so i should stop here uh, stop here and let me introduce you to the main diagram of your um, of a digest of your digestion and and give a overview of uh, how and where all your organs are located so first of all the here is the oral cavity and this is the nasal cavity you know that uh, here is your oral cavity mouth this is the upper lip lower lip and there is and here is the mouth oral cavity and and there is a pharynx here is the pharynx windpipe you yeah this is this is a skin color things is called here is the oral cavity and here is the hip. this will not look at here is hypoglottis locates this is the glottis area and and if yeah, and here the epiglottis locates which which flaps on this glottis area and prevents the entry of the food into the into the pharynx or windpipe so food uh, food travels through through these lines and these lines and enters and enters here in the esophagus and goes down down and down and down and down and here is the spincher what is spincher gastroesophageal spincher locates here this is the portion of stomach cardiac fundus pyloric cardiac fundus or pyloric pyloric division of your stomach and here go goes down and down and and goes into a small intestine a small intestine you will uh, you you will be known a small intestine in detail after this and a small intestine after a small intestine this will con the small intestine connects to this large intestine large intestine connects uh, connects intestine into a rectum where the 
where fecal matter deposits for one or two or maybe it it will long last five to seven hours and then it it defecates through the anus i am not i am not explaining you to the glandular glandular part that is here is the liver and here is the pancreas here here is the liver here is the pancreas and here is the salivary and maxillary yeah, yeah, sub maxillary and sublingual glands uh, that sublingual is a salivary gland uh, collectively called them as salivary glands so now we will let let us let us shift to our old or previous things which we have all which we have left so the small intestine is distinguishable into three reasons a c-shaped duodenum a long a long coiled middle portion jejunum and a highly highly coiled ileum small intestine have three portions okay let us see this in let us see this in in diagram that is here is the duodenum this portion is called duodenum not coiled portion not coiled portion a c shaped you can see this C making C pyloric ends here and the duodenum starts here after after stomach and duodenum starts here and making a C shaped structure and then after that jejunum and then ileum jejunum is the coiled portion and after jejunum a highly coiled a very a very high a very metabolic uh, highly coiled structures ileum is the highly coiled structures in which the coiling is the coiling the coiling is like they are integrated into each others and you will you can't decide uh, where it starts and where it ends and after that ileum connects to the Uh, back to our NCRT that the the opening of the stomach into the duodenum is guarded by a guarded by the pyloric sphincter. Where your pyloric sphincter is located? Pyloric sphincter is located in your in above the C shaped here. The how pyloric pyloric sphincter. And then ileum opens into the large intestine. Ileum opens into the it consists of the cecum, colon, and rectum. So ileum, ileum here ileum ends where the skin colors ends and started a cecum, colon, and rectum. So the opening where ileum and large intestine connects is called cecum and this is ascending colon this is descending colon ascending colon is where the uh, where it goes upright above the food or the processed food or you can you can also call mass uh, uh, a digested food or largely digested food or absorbed food or or you can say that the residual food or residual of your food yeah. after cecum they goes up upward and it's called ascending colon and and this is called transverse colon this is called transverse colon from ascending to transverse to descending colon and then to rectum and then anus so cecum is a blind cecum is a Bl a small blind sac which hosts 
सम सिम्बायोटिक माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म सो हियर इज द सीकम इन सीकम वी हैव स्मॉल ब्लाइंड सेक्स विच होस्ट सम सिम्बायोटिक और माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म हियर इज द सीकम विच वी हैव स्मॉल सिम्बा स्मॉल सिम्बायोटिक माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स वी हैव इस माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म इज अ वर्मी फॉर्म अपेंडिक्स ऑल्सो कॉल वर्मी फॉर्म हेयर इज अ वर्मी फॉर्म अपेंडिक्स एट्स माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड वर्मी फॉर्म अपेंडिक्स दिस इज यू यू कॉमनली नो अ टर्म दैट अपेंडिक्स ऑपरेशन कॉल गॉट एन अपेंडिक्स द इन विच दिस अपेंडिक्स पोर्शन इज ग्रोज एंड इन ग्रोज इन लार्ज एंड इनफेक्शन फ्रॉम एन इन्फेक्शन फ्रॉम एन इन्फेक्शन द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स grows and and this here is the here goes for an inflammation in which what doctor what doctor do is do is cut this parts on the vermi form appendix and and attaches this cecum on colon directly to cure that uh, to cure this appendicitis or appendix commonly known as appendix सीकम इज एज स्मॉल ब्लाइंड सेफ विच विच होस्ट सम सिम्बैटिक मैकेजम अ नैरो फिंगर लाइक ट्यूबलर प्रोजेक्शन दी वर्मी दी वर्मी फॉर्म अपेंडिक्स वर्मी फॉर्म अपेंडिक्स अ ट्यूबलर अ ट्यूबलर फिंगर लाइक प्रोजेक्शन एंड दिस टाइप ऑफ प्रोजेक्शन प्रोजेक्शन इज वेन इट इज इन नॉर्मल कंडीशन लुक्स लाइक विच इज अ वेस्टिजियल ऑर्गन वेस्टिजियल ऑर्गन यू ऑलरेडी नो वाट इज वेस्टिजियल ऑर्गन विच डज नॉट परफॉर्म एनी एक्शन इन योर बॉडी बट इज बट इट इज देयर बिकॉज ऑफ बिकॉज ऑफ सम सम एंसेस्ट्रल एंसेस्ट्रल यूज एंड नाउ आवर एंसेस्ट्रल यूज दैट पार्ट एंड वी डू नॉट यूज दैट पार्ट दैट इज कॉल्ड वेस्टिजियल ऑर्गन अराइज फ्राम द सीकम इट इट अराइज फ्राम द सीकम इट सीकम इन लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन ए इन दी इन दपेंडिक इन दपेंडिक वर्मी फॉर्म एंड अराइज फ्राम योर फ्राम फ्राम योर सीकम फ्राम योर लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन इट डज नॉट इट डज नॉट अराइज इन आवर स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन आफ्टर स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन इट अराइज द सीकम ओपन्स इन टू द कोलॉन सीकम द ओपनिंग आफ्टर स्मॉल इंटेस्ट आफ्टर स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन एंड लार्ज लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन द सीकम इज द ओपनिंग वे आर द ओपनिंग ओपनिंग एंड देन द कोलॉन The colon is divided into three parts: ascending colon, transverse colon, and and descending colon. Ascending colon is uh, is looks like this, where for uh, where residual food uh, is moved from this type, this type of movement, whose food gives to you, or or the residual part, residual thing. This type of thing is is ascending, and then transverse. this type of movement transverse and descending and here is the rectum and the descending part opens into the rectum which opens out through the anus anus after that rectum stores your food and a little reabsorption also occur there of a water to make your stool hard a wa- the wall of the wall of elementary canal forms from esophagus to rectum possesses four layers namely serosa muscularis submucosa and mucosa so so your muscular layer of your elementary canal from uh, from your esophagus from esophagus to rectum from esophagus to rectum the mus uh, the muscle the muscular tube that is made up of uh, a four layer that we, if 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 we cut a section or cut a uh, cut that tube in a in a tra- in a horizontal section we will know the uh, we can see a four layer the first layer serosa mus serosa uh, then muscularis sub mucosa and mucosa serosa is the outer most layer and is made up of a thin meso uh, mesothelium epithelium of visceral organ 
uh, with some connective tissue mm, it, in this structure we you can you can see that as like this this is the tube structure tubular structure tubular structure this is the tube tube like things and we can make these things in like this and don't see this if we cut this cut the cut sections like this and a tube cut section like this and the outermost layer is called serosa and then and then muscularis submucosa and mucosa the inner the most inner layer like this i can't pile up my finger uh, pile up my finger but you can understand from this like my finger is here and this finger is here and this finger is here this is the this is this is the uh, apprehension of the thing the serosa is outer outermost layer this is serosa muscularis and submucosa and mucosa so serosa is the epithelium of visceral organ but um, epithelium tissue made up of meso of mesothelium epithelium of, of a visceral organ mesothelium epithelium mesothelium in in a tissue section you can remind these things uh, let a uh, uh, some a uh, uh, reminder or you can uh, you can get a summary or summary or maybe a revision of a, of your tissue chapter then it will help you a lot uh, in in remembering or in understanding this section this is uh, this section is highly highly bibliographic or maybe you can say that highly re referral to that uh, to that section of your of your book serosa is the outermost layer and and is made up of a thin mesothelium epithelium of the visceral organ and some connective tissue and there is some connective tissue that means a blood vessels maybe capillaries or capillaries you know of blood vessels capillaries veins or maybe in connective tissues muscularis is or lymph muscularis is, uh, muscularis is formed by smooth muscles usually arranged into arranged into an inner circular and outer longitudinal layer muscularis is formed by smooth muscle smooth muscle usually arranged into a, a inner circular and outer longitudinal layer muscularis is uh, it is smooth muscle a smooth muscle what is the function of a smooth muscle it is the uh, smooth a smooth muscle functions uh, voluntarily a smooth muscle voluntarily a smooth muscle or a skeletal muscle uh, skeletal muscle a smooth muscle cardiac muscle a smooth muscle function uh, function voluntarily involuntarily skeletal, skeletal muscle and voluntarily also cardiac muscle also, also function voluntarily so so a smooth muscle arrangement is arrangement of a smooth muscle arranged into a into a inner circular inner inner in inner a circular manner of tissue arrangement is uh, you can see and an outer longitudinal longitudinal two layer a smooth muscle muscularis and outer is a longitudinal layer of longitudinal layer of arrangement of the cells or uh, tissue uh, tissue arrangement of cells arrangement in a tissue of muscular muscularis layer and then an oblique oblique muscle layer may be present in some reason oblique muscle layer also present but in some reason not on or all all regions of the muscularis section the sub the sub mucosal layer is formed of loose connective loose connective tissue loose connective tissue containing nerves blood and lymph vessels so in a duodenum gland are also present in a submucosa 
in some mucosa gland are also present the inner most layer lining the lumen of the alimentary canal in the mucosa the inner most layer lining the lumen of the alimentary canal in the mucosa this layer forms irregular folds rugi in the stomach and small finger like foldings called villi the inner most layer lining the lumen of the alimentary canal the inner most layer mucosa the inner most layer lining in in sub mucosa you have already in, in a duodenum glands are also present sub mucosa sub mucosa layer in a duodenum and in inner most layer the inner most layer of your uh, uh, lining of the lumen of the alimentary canal is the mucosa the la and the last inner most layer is called mucosa this layer forms irregular folds this layer last layer is called mucosa irregularly fold in the stomach and small intestines like a folding for uh, fing uh, for finger like folding finger like this type of fing finger like projections make that uh, that will i make in your small intestine and or and in your stomach that is the last layer mucosa layer mucosa layer folds like these and fold folds like these and and make a projection uh, of a finger a, a tiny tiny structures uh, the cells lining the villi produces numerous microscopic projections called the microvilli and in villi there is numerous microscopic numerous tiny microscopic projection called microvilli and from villi that you can you can understand this from a uh, mm, a stem of a plant has a, different and uh, dif different different stems projecting from a sing a single stem that is uh, and the projection is always smaller from the main part or uh, a shoot system a shoot shoot system is shoot system or the stems the stems are always smaller from than the shoot system the main branch that is the villi the main branch is the villi and then the microvilli the microvilli are always smaller giving a brush border appearance brush like appearance or tiny these modifications increases the surface area these modification in the microvilli the modification of the of the mucosa layer in your small intestine or large uh, small intestine or stomach uh, increases the surface area surface area enormous the surface 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 area are increased by 20 30 times in matlab that is that is it increase like a like unmatchable you can't match how uh, how enormously that uh, that increase in the surface area villi are supplied with a network of capillaries and a large lymph vessel called the lacteal villi has uh, villi has a number of capillaries and a lymph vessel called the lacteals mucosal epithelium has goblet cells which secrete mucus that helps in the lubrication mucosa also forms glands in the stomach Epi mucosal epithelium has goblet cells which secrete mucus that helps in lubrication mucosa uh, mucosal epithelium has goblet goblet cells uh, gab, um, goblet cells in your muco, muco, uh, mucosa your mucos, uh, mucosal epithelium has secret uh, secret some mucus to 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 get lubrication or uh, lubrication required uh, required in your because of uh, because of the they do not stuck in your stomach or intestine and they move forward and get and digestion will get easy easy and easy and fast mucosa also form glands in the stomach also form glands in some gastric glands and cribs of cribs in between in in between the bases of the villi 
mucosa also forms glands mucosa also forms glands in the stomach gastric glands and thrives in between the bases of the villi in the intestine in intestine types of liberkun all the four layers show modification in different part of the elementary canal mucosal epithelium has goblet cell which secrete mucus lubrication base of the villi also has a uh, also have cribs and glands all the four layers shows modification in different parts of the elementary canal now i can i will show you this figure that sections i have already represents you like this here is the figure so it will easy to understand in a in a figure serosa layer that is the inner the muscularis layer inner circular outer longitudinal and and sometimes uh, there is an obliquely oblique layer or obliquely like like this uh, like this Uh, oblique muscle layer some reason okay. and then sub mucosa sub mucosa in sub mucosal layer water sub mucosal layer is formed of the loose connective tissue so there is a loose connective tissue containing nerves blood and lymph vessels uh, in a, in sub mucosal layer there it is a loose connective tissue and a fluid like up fluid like appearance and uh, it contains nerves and blood vessels lymph lymph vessels and it's a it's a fluid connective tissue it contains uh, con connective tissues muco sub mucosa and in and in duodenum glands are also present in sub mucosa in in a duodenum section uh, the c section c section remember the c section after the stomach the pylori region and and then a c section is will connect the c section of your of small intestine also uh, it has a glands also present in the sub mucosa that it will it will here you will know in the in the digestive in the digestive glands is you will know that the duodenum also secretes secretes in uh, uh, secretes some enzyme to your uh, to your small intestine that glands are present in sub mucosa layer and the the innermost layer the li the last lining or the innermost layer uh, layer lining the lumen of the elementary canal the last is the mucosa this layer forms irregular fold irregular fold ryugi in the stomach ryugi in the stomach and small intestine for pain in in uh, in small in stomach we will we will call that structures ryugi and in in small intestine we will call that as villi in the small intestine so here is the structure of your villi the last the last structure mucosa and then this is the lumen lumen that means uh, lumen means a passage a uh, passage uh, a hollow area it's called lumen or the structure of this villi mm, the cell lining the villi produces numerous microscopic structure uh, now we will learn about villi structure of your villi the, the cell lining the villi produce numerous microscopic projection villi has a numerous microscopic projections called microvilli giving brush like a brush border like appearance uh, in from a villi there is also a there also a new microscopic question called microvilli in a in villi 
uh, we have supply network of the capillaries what are capil uh, why are these capillaries uh, are placed here the villi has a function of absorbing your nutri absorbing nutrients yeah you will learn these things in absorption later in this chapter now you you just have to learn this uh, uh, learn learn these projections or these organs in your in your digestive systems i will give you overview of this in in next video or summarize or summarize portion what are what are the organs are placed uh, placed in your elementary canal so in a villi supplied with a network of capillaries with a large lymph vessels here is the vessel of lymphs are large because uh, lymph vessel does not have duct what uh, lymph are ductless gland ductless they absorb easily from and uh, lymph lymph absorb all the nutrients and and make sure that that no nutrients is wasted uh, absorb nutrient wasted and carry and carry the nutrients to the blood vessels in the lymph, uh, capillaries uh, and large lymph vessel for lacteals here is the lacteal this is here is the lacteal where i lacteal that is the lacteals mucosal epithelium has a goblet cells which secrete mucus that mucosal epithelium is the lubrication or lubrications and mucosal epithelium here is the mucosal epithelium is the in lining of the lining of the mucosa is the epithelium the, uh, this secretes uh, this mucus to lubricate this lubricate the residual food and there is also a cribs of life uh, the cribs of liver cone this also uh, between the bases of the villi of the intestine types of liver cone are also present here all the four layers show modification different parts of the elementary canal in elementary canal these four this four layer also also shows modification because um, uh, as per their function as per their function